Good morning. Today we are visiting some beautiful waterfalls. We are at the Le Fonce del Algar. I'm sure I'm butchering that, but um, it's a natural spring area between the Ferrer and Bernia Mountains. And these extraordinary springs create a unique natural spot. So we just came into the Algar Waterfalls and it is only 15 kilometers from Benidorm, which is another touristy area. So today's gonna be broken into two parts. We're gonna be at the waterfalls for the first part of the day and then we're gonna go back to our house um, in Benessa area and we're gonna pick up Greg and then we are going to Alicante for a walking tour tonight. So the waterfalls are formed by a series of springs which mainly rise from the Estret de Saco Strait where the Great Fair and Bernia Limestone Mountains meet. And rainfall in this region is quite scarce and only basically limited to uh, autumn and winter. But torrential rain can be common which causes lots of flooding. Girls, how cool is this place? It's really amazing. Do you like climbing all, of, all over the rocks? Yes. And the trees. I mean, look at all these cool branches and vines yeah, coming off. It's good to be in nature, isn't it, girls? Yeah. We made it to the gorge at the end of the path. Girls, is this a fun hike? Yeah. Good. Okay, girls, what was your favorite part of that part of the experience? My favorite part was the amazing views. The amazing views. What about yours, Emma? Um, my favorite part hmm, was probably actually the waterfalls. The waterfalls. And Olivia, what happened that made you sad? I dropped my toy camera in the water. Now I can't use it to take pictures. Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry that happened. All right, now we're gonna head back to the car, drive back, go pick up Greg, and then we are going to go explore Alicante tonight. So we just parked in Alicante, which is the eighth largest city in Spain, and we are going to do a free walking tour around Alicante. And Madrid is the first largest, then Barcelona, then Valencia, then Sevilla, then Bilbao, then Malaga, and then Oviedo, and then Alicante. So we're going to go explore it and looking forward to it. So our tour guide just told us that these steps were built for the queen who came to visit Alicante for a few days to um, honor the new train system and these she actually came by boat so she, they built these steps for her. So this building was the residence of Carbonet and it was built in 1925-1926 time and Carbonet made his money by selling textiles during the First World War and he sold, because Spain was neutral in that war, he sold to both sides of the army their uniforms and so he was able to make so much money because of that and this is one of the prettiest buildings in Alicante. It is absolutely gorgeous. Greg, what was the whole city made with? Well, all these old buildings were made with sandstone. And you can see the salt coming out of it from the... It's crazy. So this is the Church of Santa Maria, and it's the oldest church in Alicante. So these impacts were from the year of 1691. There's also a cannibal right there. So these tiles underneath the roof are called Sakarat and not many buildings have them left but they're beautiful.
So what did you think of the tour, Greggy? It was great. I, again, had no idea about Alicante, so we learned a lot. We did. Guillermo was our tour guide, and he was amazing. Yeah, he was excellent. I mean, we learned that the bat is the uh, animal of the city. So we're at a tapas place in Old Town Alicante called La Crispeta, and these patatas bravas look so good. The meatballs are amazing. And Greg, how are your prawns so far? They're so good. It's like shrimp scampi, garlic, Ooh. Sauce. It's very good. Sounds amazing. 